everyone, my name is Glenn Bartley and welcome to another video blog. It's been a little while. Last time you saw me I was down in South Georgia and now I'm back to my more my my style of shooting. I'm back in South America here and I'm in Guyana, a small country in northern South America here. A little bit different than uh, than uh, some of my all my other trips but I'm really excited to spend the next three four weeks here in Guyana checking out all that this country has to offer. It's a really amazing place because most of the people live along the coast and the whole middle of the country is pretty much primary rainforest. So it should be some really exciting bird photography opportunities and I can't wait to share the journey with you. Thanks for watching. All right, so here we are, Guyana, day one of the trip. And we flew into Georgetown here, so figured first day might as well get started here in the botanical gardens. You know, these, these urban sites can really be oasis for uh, just a whole variety of different birds that can live here. And, and this morning has been fantastic had a bunch of different parrots um, including some of the kind of unique ones like the festive Amazon several three species of toucan this morning which is pretty awesome and um, just a bunch of those sort of local specialties here the white belly piculet uh, we're searching for the blood colored woodpecker right now um, lots of good stuff here so it's been a good start to the trip so far trip. Yesterday we visited the Botanical Gardens. Today, the real deal, we're headed inland, straight into the rainforest for about eight hours, and we'll have about three weeks exploring all that Guyana has to offer. Man, if you're going to start with your video vlogs again, we're going to miss the RV eagle. Alright, so we've traveled now about eight hours inland. First lodge awaits just across the river here. Got a little bit of a ferry crossing to do. And then have about two weeks in this area. Primary rainforest, as far as the eye can see, very untouched. Should be lots of good birds and hopefully lots of good photos. Going about, uh, well, I could probably swim faster. But we're getting there. Well, it's another early morning here in the rainforest of Guyana. Today's target is the beautiful and spectacular Crimson Topaz. Well, he'd be beautiful and spectacular if we could find him. I'm trying to uh, look around this Blackwater Stream area, which is apparently what they like. And there's some flowers around. We're hoping one's going to show up. So far, no luck, but uh, we have been uh, successful with the red-necked woodpecker, so all's not lost. Doobie is diligently and patiently waiting for the topaz. <laughs> All right, so this afternoon's target is the ferruginous backed ampered. It's a beautiful ampered that lives in this region. Tough birds, ampereds are always really hard. Um, we've heard one back in here, and hopefully he's gonna come into a little bit of playback and we'll be able to get some shots. As you can see, probably from my extremely sweaty appearance, it's very hot, it's very humid. This is hard work. So when you're down in the lowland rainforests, oftentimes bird photography means walking around the trails, covering a lot of ground, and for a lot of the time, not seeing much of anything. Birds down here move a lot around in flocks. It means you can walk for hours without really spotting much of anything, or you can get lucky and hit a flock and get a whole bunch of stuff. Right now we're out on a trail here that's just basically wandering around, hoping to find a flock or a territory of some, some kind of birds that we can try to get close to it and get some shots. Doobie's trying to call the spotted ant pitta a notoriously elusive subject. All 
All right, so this morning we're up here in a canopy platform here. There's these walkways and little platforms. And basically we're trying to lure some of the birds around here in to come a little bit closer so we can get some shots of them. So far we've had some success with the waved woodpecker and red-necked woodpecker. And we're just kind of listening and waiting and hoping a few more things might come in for some, some more good photos. Just walking back from a fantastic morning shoot out here along the road in the middle of Guyana. Had some really good success. Started the morning with uh, just a ring kingfisher, which is a beautiful but common species. And finished the morning with one of the most stunning hummingbirds in the world, the crimson topaz. Got some really nice shots of it, so I'm pretty stoked. I'm gonna go take a cold shower and relax for the rest of the day. All right, so we're just headed into the jungle here to search for another one of the really great target birds here in Guyana, the Guyanan form of the cock of the rock. It's supposed to be a lek in the forest here somewhere, so hopefully we'll find the lek and uh, be able to get some decent frames of this beautiful bird. All right, so we've got the Guyanan cock of the rock in front of us here. You can see I'm using live view and I'm using my cable release so that I can try to eliminate camera movement. The bird is just out there. I don't know if you can see him, but you can definitely see him there. And I'm just waiting for a good head turn, and then once he turns, I take a few frames. Another good technique here is you can, once you're in live view, you can zoom in 10 times and focus right on the head. And that way, when he gives you a good pose, you can just fire some frames. So. Not a technique you can use on a lot of birds, but ones that sit still like this works pretty good. All right, so we're here working on the great Pawtou. I'll point the camera up there. It's pretty cryptic. He's up there in the tree. And we're just trying to snipe some shots of him here. Got our special special helper today alana she's a good bird finder you like birds right <laughs> she's good she spotted this paw too like nobody's business all right so we're headed down now into the savannah more the open country of guyana here this is uh heading into the Rukununi wetlands and I have to say, it's going to be nice to get out into the open country, do some shooting of some more easy to find birds, because after 12 days in the lowland rainforest, we could use some easy targets. All right, we're nearing the end of our Guyana journey here. Basically, I have two more main targets sun parakeet which we're searching for today up in these mountains above the village of Karasabai and then we're going to go look for the red siskin. We saw the sun parakeets yesterday but they were way up in some trees so we're hoping this morning maybe we're going to see some a little closer. We have we have all day today and tomorrow morning so wish us luck. It's a beautiful bird. Hope we get some good photos. All right so this morning we're trying for the sun parakeets again. We, we had some success yesterday. Got some good shots but we're hoping we can do a little better here. This is supposed to be an area upriver we're right on the border here, just across the river there, that's Brazil, this is Guyana, and we're going to try to go up river here, hopefully find an area where there's a few more sun parakeets. The only problem is we had to hire a sort of suspect looking local boat, there's, not, there's no infrastructure here, there's only some small villages, so we've hired this small boat, maybe you can see behind me there, and uh, it floats, barely, so hopefully we make it there, find the parakeets, and make it back. All right, sun parakeet morning number two. We've hired a small boat to take us up river where there's supposed to be more sun parakeets. There's a lot of water coming into the boat, so hopefully we're gonna make it there. 
I think I better start bailing. Success. We've just had an amazing opportunity with the sun parakeets. We're down here in this little in this little village. We saw them flying way up in the sky and they dropped down into this sort of agricultural area and just amazingly after tracking through the bushes they came to within 20 30 feet of us a group of six or seven individuals amazing opportunity here in Guyana Well, our time here in Guyana has almost come to an end. We've got one more exciting target to chase after, and it's the red siskin. Now, the red siskin was a bird that was basically thought to be nearly extinct up until about 10, 15 years ago, and they found a totally satellite population here in Guyana of, you know, a few hundred or a thousand birds or so. Um, and now this is basically where people come to see it. So we're hoping tomorrow that we'll be able to track these birds down. There's supposed to be a small little spring that they come to drink from. So hopefully we can find them there, get some shots and complete this amazing trip it's been. And hopefully we'll have one more great target to chase tomorrow. All right, so we've arrived at the site for the red siskin here. And basically we've set up a little makeshift blind. There's a small little, tiny little pool of water here where supposedly they come to drink every morning. So we're basically just sitting here and twiddling our thumbs until hopefully the birds will show up. There's tons of flies around, hence the bug net, and it's hot. That's all I have to report for the moment. Well, I was hoping that uh, I'd be coming back to you with good news that we saw and photographed the siskin, but I would be lying if I told you that. We did see it, we did not get any chance to photograph it, so beers in the back of the truck and head back to the ranch and drown our sorrows. We don't Sometimes deserve these beers, but I deserve it. You deserve it? What, for getting bitten by 2,000 flies? Okay. Yeah, that counts. Cheers. Well, made it back to Georgetown after a wonderful three and a half week mission into the interior of Guyana. From the untouched, unspoiled rainforests to the beautiful open savanna. It really is a fantastic country to visit and, and to see some of the fantastic places, meet the awesome people, and of course, try to track down these beautiful birds. It's been a really great trip. We're gonna chase a few last targets here close to town near this small little river here after trying to improve the photos of the blood-colored woodpecker and also look for the rufous crab these two targets and then head back home. So thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll share a few photos from this trip. Pack yourself a toothbrush, dear. Pack yourself a favorite blouse. Take a withdrawal slip. Take all of your savings out. Cause if we don't leave this town, we might never make it out. I was not born and drown. Baby, come on. Get what Father Brennan said We were not born in sin Leave a note on your bed Let your mother know you're safe And by the time she wakes We'll have driven through the state We'll have driven through the night Baby, come on sun don't shine on me today and if the